The fourth Bioresteck conference was hosted in the picturesque town of Lake Garda, Italy. Various approaches to maximize bioenergy yields from different feedstocks both via thermochemical processes and biochemical methods were discussed. Novel strategies for transforming bioresources into valuable products such as biofuels, bio-based chemicals and biomaterials as well as integrated biorefineries for a sustainable and circular bioeconomy was presented. Day 1 began on a sunny Sunday afternoon with registration, welcome address and plenary talks. It also gave me a chance to bump into my fellow EBNet Travel Bursary awardee, Dr. Aaron Brown from the University of Leeds. The first plenary by Prof. Tahirzadeh was the perfect start to the conference, highlighting resource efficiency through his talk, Boosting Biogas Plants to Biorefineries. What followed for the rest of the afternoon was nothing short of fantastic. Day 2 and Day 3 had sessions split between two main rooms. The coffee and lunch sessions overlapped poster sessions, having the conference agenda in hand as well as an up-to-date app to keep track of conference changes was useful to plan attendance to specific sessions. Prof. Aaron's talk on enhancing the methane yields using AD via pretreatment and in-situ biogas upgradation on day two was the highlight for me. I managed to have a good conversation with her during lunch and interestingly talk about common connections too. Day three began with plenaries. Prof. Lansing's talk on innovations in AD included the word hydrodynamic cavitation very briefly. I am the only one in the UK to work on hydrodynamic cavitation for intensifying biorefineries. Hence, hearing these keywords always makes me curious. It was a great conversation with her over lunch about how things work with biogas plants in the US, role of policy, cavitation trials, and general environmental biotechnology. Day 3 ended with conference networking, dinner, and where more conversations continued. My talk titled HC Mediated Intensified Microalkal Biorefineries was scheduled for the morning of day 3. The morning session was heavily dominated by UK speakers, with three of the four speakers in the sessions coming from the UK. Beyond presenting our work on hydrodynamic cavitation mediated uh, biorefineries, I also managed to advertise my fully funded PhD position in my lab and publicize the hydrodynamic cavitation book as well. We wrote this book over two years, so why waste this opportunity to publicize it? I received good appreciation as well as interest from participants who identified me to have a conversation later. Day 4 was a short morning session with plenary and awards. It was difficult to choose whether Prof. Baskar's talk on high TRL lignin valorization processes or Prof. Hati Kaul's talk on bioplastics were the highlight for the last session. Both were equally appealing, interesting and had lots of takeaways on how to approach a problem and lead to a feasible solution. Overall, the BioResTech conference provided a fantastic platform for knowledge sharing, best practices and advancements within environmental biotechnology. I'd like to thank eBnet for the uh, opportunity and funding me to attend this conference.